Field Day is like Halloween for amateur radio operators. Once a year, operators from across the United States set up stations in the field and we contact as many other stations as we can over a 24-hour period. This is great for honing our emergency deployment and operating skills. It's also just great fun. These pictures show our setup on Saturday morning. All is quiet as folks rest up before the excitement starts at 1 p.m. It took us about seven hours to set everything up. To show the setup in just a few minutes, we've sped everything up by a factor of 30. It's too bad we don't really move that fast. We set up mast and directional beams for four stations here at the park. The first station will be a Morse code or CW station. That may sound old fashioned, but we always contact more stations with our CW setup than with any other and each CW contact counts as double that of a voice contact. The second station is a single sideband voice station. The third station is a voice get on the air station, abbreviated as a GOTA station. The GOTA station lets us give non-hams or inactive ones a supervised chance to try out amateur radio. The CW, sideband, and GOTA stations all transmit on the short wave bands where we can bounce signals off the ionosphere to contact people across the United States and Canada, and sometimes even beyond that. The fourth and last station we have is the Voice VHF station. Using the lowest frequency VHF band called 6 meters, we can communicate with other hams across the country when we're lucky enough to have 6 meters open. The mast we're using for the larger beams are an invention of club member Brad Davis. NA5BD. These nautical style masts are made up of sections of PVC braced inside with an oak spar and they use two sets of stays that keep the mast from bending. These masts can be safely hoisted with a vehicle and just a few team members. Here, we're raising the CW station beam. Raising the VHF station 2 meter beam. Now raising the sideband station beam. Raising the get on the air station beam. Putting up a 40 meter vertical for the CW station.
the ARRL headquarters station W1AW always transmits an annual field day message in a number of modes before the start of field day. We get extra points for copying this message. I'm one of the club members doing that on Friday evening. The mode you hear is PSK31. So that's the way we do that. A few volunteers stayed at the site Friday night to guard things. Saturday morning arrived with rain. We laid things out to minimize the chance of getting things stuck, but we were still very worried about the ground getting too wet. So Dick, what are you doing? Uh, I was carrying this K3 out to the car and the handle came loose from this end. Pop. Fortunately, I hung on to the handle so that the thing didn't fall, but it came off because it, there's a nut on the other side of the screw. And the nut is still... It's down on your the low Ooh, side. Oh, I see it! I there see it! Is. Yahoo! We got the nut out! I was about to declare it must be unimportant. <laughs> uh, only because this ain't my K3, that's the only reason. Now the question is, is there a lock washer rolling around in there? See, that's the kind of thinking you get when you have an extra class operator. <laughs> It's time for the 1 p.m. starting bell. Uh, I wonder how big of a boiler we need for 100 watts, or even 50 watts. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, we've got uh, Jim Michelle, KB7 UQD, world-class athlete, doing <laughs> pa powering a generator to do our our natural power QSOs. He's laughing about my world-class uh, world-class athlete, but he was the only one that would be willing to do it for us anyway. What we do basically is we reduce the power down to five watts to make it so he doesn't die. But occasionally we crank it up just because we like to hear him scream. Jim, how many years have you been doing this for us? I think this makes 12. Get one yet? Yep, you're pedaling clear to Long Island. So we got one QSO so, so far? Or? Yeah, he's got one. Oh boy, one, Jim. How are they doing in there? I don't know. I'm just moving the camera a little bit so... What's that? I'm moving the cameras a little bit so our viewers can uh, check out the storm that's about to hit us. Hey, how you guys doing in there? I like feedback. I'll work on that for you. <coughs> Pretty good. Seven? I think that's the best we've ever done. Six minutes. 
Five and a half minutes. This is uh, this is our most wonderful Dutch oven cooking team that's cooking us up a wonderful supper. In fact, you could say they're literally cooking up a storm. Calico bean time right here. All right. What else you got for us? Ribs, ribs, brisket. All right. And I'm sure that there's some sort of uh, dessert in mind. There's about four cobblers coming on board. As I mentioned, they're cooking up a storm. This whole area that they're cooking out of, apparently about two weeks ago, was underwater. And uh, I just thought I'd add that little cheery thought. So let's do a sound off. Who all the cooks we have out here today helping us? All right. Well, as long as she's not part of the menu. No, no, no. She's the official liquor. Okay. She, she catches anything that falls on the ground. Yeah. That sounds like me. Yeah. Well, she's the sound off lady. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
glad you're here. Uh, sorry about the rain, but cool can't things down a little bit, didn't it? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, a little muddy here, you know, as you can see. Well, yeah. But uh, beach yeah. Hawaii, about two weeks ago, we were, this area was underwater. Yeah. 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 Um, the water was yeah. all the way up to the right there. You know, I mean, seriously, for about two, three weeks, it was underwater. Wow. Wow. A couple weeks ago. So, and that, But that's what this, this park is. It's a, you know, this, this lake is uh, flood, you know, flood control. And, uh, that's kind of what it is. But anyway, I hope, hope it's working out great. Uh, let's do it again. Yeah. Yeah. The cooks did a good job. I Night falls, and our operators work all night long. A beautiful Sunday morning dawned. Outside, everything was quiet and peaceful. Only the sound of birds and generators delivering power. But inside, operators were working, continuing to make contacts. Delta to Italy Fox uh, to Alpha South Texas. Uh, QSL, thanks. Good luck. Uh, QRZ November 5. We'd like to thank the Capital Area Trauma Regional Advisory Council, or CATRAC, for providing this generator and two great operating vehicles for us. We provide backup voice and email communications to 25 hospitals in the Austin area. Sounds like it's in great shape. Oh, wow. November 5, Tango Whiskey. Again? Again? QSL. QSL, 2 Alpha South Texas. 2 Alpha South Texas. 
Perfect. Good job. Got it. 73. <laughs> We started taking down the nighttime wire antennas before the end of field day. Also, when the last visitors left the GOTA station, we took that beam down. Then at 1 p.m., we began the, the final chair down. We finished about 3.30. Here's a quick look at our score compared to last year. Final score is 8902, almost 900 points better than last year. One of our best ever.